Are you looking for a powerful and loyal dog that doubles as an exceptional guard dog and an affectionate family companion? If you are, the American Staffordshire Terrier might just be the best choice for you. The American Staffordshire Terrier, also known as the Amstaff or American Staffy, is a popular breed known for their strong and muscular build, intelligence, and loyalty. In addition to being an excellent guard dog, the Amstaff is also a loving and affectionate companion. In this video today, we're going to discuss some of the most interesting facts about these powerful and loyal terriers, including their history temperament, and unique physical characteristics. But before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Amstaff owners in the video. The video would not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The ancestors of the modern American Staffordshire Terrier hail from England and were a mix between bulldogs and terrier breeds. Their mixed heritage earned them many names, including Bull and Terrier Dog, Pitbull Terrier, and Half and Half. Eventually, they came to be known as Staffordshire Bull Terriers. These dogs were used by butchers to manage bulls, hunters to bring down wild boars, and farmers to help with farm work and act as ratters and family companions because they were so affectionate to humans. Later, they were used in barbaric sports of bull baiting and bear baiting due to their tenacity, courage, and muscular build. When these blood sports were eventually outlawed, they were used in dog fighting rings, which sadly continues in illegal events to this day. Around 1850, many of these dogs made their way to America for use as farm dogs, where a slighter larger version than its English counterpart was preferred. They started to become known as American Pit Bull Terriers, Pit Bull Terriers, American Bull Terriers, and Yankee Terriers. After dog fighting was banned in the United States in 1900, two strains of these dogs were developed, a show strain and a non-show strain. The show strain was labeled the American Staffordshire, while the non-show dog strain was labeled the American Pitbull Terrier. The two are now recognized as separate breeds. Around the turn of the 20th century, these larger staffies were recognized by the United Kennel Club as American Pitbull Terriers. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed as Staffordshire Terrier in 1936. In 1976, the AKC changed the name to American Staffordshire Terrier as the Americans had bred a larger dog than the original Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and these two breeds needed to be distinguished from one another more clearly. Number 2. Their Appearance the American Staffordshire Terrier is a breed known for its muscular and athletic build. With impressive strength and agility, these dogs are able to move quickly and gracefully. This breed is heavy for its size, weighing in about 40 to 70 pounds and standing between 17 and 19 inches tall. The eyes are dark and round, low down in the skull, and set far apart. They have a broad head with powerful jaws and a friendly expression, and their ears may be cropped but are usually preferred left in their natural rose shape. Their neck is muscular and well-defined, and it leads to a deep chest and a strong straight back. Their tail is typically docked, but may also be left natural. The legs are strong and sturdy, with well-muscled thighs and a compact, agile build. These dogs sport a short, smooth coat that can come in a variety of colors, including blue, fawn, white, black, and red. They can include a mix of white and other colors, or a mix of white and brindle. It is considered a fault by the AKC if more than 80% of the coat is white. Number 3. Their Temperament Despite their strong and intimidating appearance, American Staffordshire Terriers are generally gentle and good-natured dogs. They are a breed that actually love being around humans. Amstaffs are at their happiest when they are spending their time with their families, whether it's during a vigorous play session, a long walk, or just cuddling up on the couch. In fact, although they have a reputation as being guard dogs, they are likely to greet strangers with lots of licks and affection. It is mostly their muscular build and undeserved reputation as aggressive pit bulls that intimidates intruders and keep them away. But just because they're friendly with strangers doesn't mean they won't jump to action if they feel their family is threatened. Extremely loyal and highly protective of their loved ones, American Staffies make great guard dogs. That said, they're not aggressive unless provoked. American Staffordshire Terriers are known for being loving family dogs, even with children. That said, they are best suited to homes with older kids. These dogs are very muscular and can play rough, which might result in injuries. As for getting along with other dogs, the breed has an undeserved reputation as being aggressive with other dogs. And this isn't exactly true. All dogs, regardless of breed, have the potential to exhibit aggressive behavior if not properly socialized and trained. The same can be said for the American Staffy. As long as they're trained and socialized from a young age, an Amstaff can get along fairly well with other dogs and even cats. Number 4. 
American Staffordshire Terrier versus American Pitbull Terrier. The American Staffordshire Terrier and the Pitbull Terrier are two dogs that most people don't realize are actually different breeds. Although they share many physical characteristics, they are distinct and have been recognized as two different breeds for many years. Regarding their origin, they are sort of cousins to each other, but otherwise they only share distinct genetic similarities. They do have slight visual differences, however. Amstaffs are slightly shorter but much stockier in weight in comparison to pit bulls. Pit bulls are also more athletic in appearance. As for temperament, neither of the two breeds are inherently aggressive. They're both, in fact, super friendly dogs. The general consensus, however, is that pit bulls are more people-centered and tolerant, and Amstaffs, on the other hand, are considered more pet-friendly in comparison to pit bulls. Number 5. Their trainability. Training an American Staffordshire Terrier can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience for both you and your furry friend. The American Staffy is a highly intelligent and eager to please breed, making it a quick learner with the right training approach. To achieve the best results in training your Amstaff, it is important to use positive reinforcement techniques such as treats and praise to encourage good behavior and discourage unwanted behavior. In addition to using positive reinforcement, it is important to start training and socializing your American Staffy as early as possible to establish good behavior and prevent bad habits from forming. Puppy training classes can be a great way to start training your Amstaff and socialize them with other dogs and people. The American Staffy is a strong and dominant breed, so it is important to establish firm and fair leadership to help your dog understand what is expected of them. They can be stubborn and may challenge authority if not properly trained and socialized. Number 6. Their Exercise Needs The American Staffordshire Terrier is a large and active breed that requires regular exercise to maintain their physical and mental health. As a breed that was originally developed for working and sporting activities, the Amstaff has a strong desire to be active and stay busy. To meet the exercise needs of an American Staffordshire, it is important to provide your dog with daily walks, runs, or play sessions. The Amstaff is well suited for activities such as running, hiking, and playing fetch. It can also excel in canine sports such as obedience, agility, and fly ball. In addition to providing your Amstaff with physical exercise, it is also important to engage your dog's mind through activities such as training and puzzle toys. This can help prevent boredom and keep your Amstaff mentally stimulated. Number 7. The misconception about their aggression. One of the most common misconceptions about the American Staffordshire Terrier is that it is an aggressive breed. While it is true that the Amstaff has a strong and muscular build and was originally bred for work and sporting activities such as hunting and dog fighting, it is not an inherently aggressive breed. In fact, these dogs are friendly to the point where they would greet strangers with lots of flicks and affection. So where did this misconception about their aggression come from? It might have to do with the breed's intimidating appearance and their blood sporting history. While these two reasons may bring the image of a scary dog to mind, you wouldn't think of the Amstaff as scary if you've actually met one. Another reason for this misconception might stem from the negligence of some trainers. Like all dogs, the Amstaff has the potential to exhibit aggressive behavior if it is not properly socialized and trained. However, with the right training and socialization, the Amstaff can be a friendly and affectionate breed that is good with children and other pets. It is the responsibility of the owner to provide their dog with consistent training and boundaries, as well as socialize them from an early age to help them learn to interact appropriately with other dogs and people. Have you met or had any interaction with an American Staffordshire Terrier? What was your experience like? Let us know in the comments below. Number 8. Their Grooming Needs Taking care of your American Staffy's short, stiff coat is remarkably easy. A quick once-over with a soft bristle brush every week is usually enough to remove any dirt or other foreign matter. What's more, a good brushing distributes skin oils throughout the coat to keep it healthy. Bathing is only required if your Amstaff gets too dirty or smelly. The rest is just basic care. Brush their teeth two or three times a week to prevent tartar and bacteria buildup, and trim their nails once or twice a month as needed, that is before they grow too long. Number 9. Their Health American Staffies are a generally healthy breed, but like any other dog, they too are prone to a few health conditions. First and foremost, it is important to get a puppy from a reputable breeder who can show you the health clearances for the pup's parents. With the health clearances, the chances of your Amstaff getting any hereditary health conditions are low. A few of the genetic health issues that can be seen in American Staffordshire's include hip and elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, ataxia, and heart diseases. Some other health issues you should be wary of in Amstaff include progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, and allergies. It is important to regularly visit a veterinarian and have your American Staffordshire Terrier undergo regular health screenings to catch and treat any potential health issues as early as possible. 
Number 10. Their diet and nutrition. Proper nutrition is essential for the overall health and well-being of any dog, including the American Staffordshire Terrier. As a mid-to-large active breed, the Amstaff requires a diet that is high in protein and nutrients to support their muscular build and energy needs. These dogs should do well on a high-quality dog food, whether commercially manufactured or home-prepared with their veterinarian supervision and approval. In addition to a well-balanced diet, it is important to pay attention to the portion sizes you are feeding your Amstaff. Overfeeding can lead to obesity, which can put unnecessary strain on the joints and increase the risk of health issues such as diabetes and heart disease. On the other hand, underfeeding can result in malnutrition and a lack of energy. So it's important to consult with your veterinarian or a professional nutritionist to determine the appropriate portion sizes for your Amstaff based on its age, size, and activity level. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the American Staffordshire Terrier. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own an Amstaff or have had an experience with one, what are some of your favorite things about the breed? Do you have any interesting stories or experiences to share about your Amstaff? If you do, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun facts about your favorite dog breed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.